What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a sketch illustration of Super Saiyan Goku. Let's begin today's lesson by blocking out the basic shape of the character's head. We're going to start with a straight line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. And this line is going to help us with the symmetry of our drawing. And then along the bottom, we draw a straight line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now I use these lines to help us create a circle. Let's start from the center, step up. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. And then we'll take this same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's add two more marks across this horizontal line, taking this distance from the center over toward the left. Mark that off. And again, doing the same thing on the right. Now you want to connect each of these points with a curve to create our circle. So let's start with the top left. I'm just going to rough this in. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on our page. So along the bottom, just working our way around. Now from the side of our circle, draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom. And then we're just going to extend that up towards the top to right about there. Let's add another line going across the top and bottom of our circle. Now let's start blocking out the features of the face, starting with the eyes. We leave a gap in the center, step over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Now you want to take this distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from these two points, we're going to angle the eyebrows going up and out towards the side of our circle. From the outside, draw a short line coming up and in towards the top of the eyebrows. And I'll just taper that back down and in towards the inside. Now from the outside of the eyebrow, we're going to step in, draw two straight angle lines coming down toward that center line. Angle the eyes coming down and then back in. Let's move down from the center, draw on the nose. Angle this up and out towards the left and right side. And then on the left, we're just going to angle this up towards the center of the head, in between the eyes. From the tip of the nose, let's step down, draw a straight line going all the way across from left to right. And this will be the edge of the mouth. On the left side, just bend this up. Go to the right, it's going to go up a little bit higher. And I'm just going to add a small bracket around the right corner of the mouth. Let's go back to the mouth, step down, draw a short line going across the lower lip. Now this chin is going to sit along the bottom of our circle. Now let's go back up to the outside of the eyebrows, step out towards the outside line. It's going to slope the head, coming down and then in towards the jaw on both sides. And then from the jaw, angle the chin, coming down and then in. Now just underneath the eyelid, we're going to draw the pupils. Draw a small half circle coming down and up. And then do the same thing on the right. Now let's place the ears along the side of the head. Start from the top, draw a short line going out on either side. Pull that straight down toward that center line. Angle this down and then in towards the side of the head. Now I'm just going to round out the side of the head, starting over on the left, we're going to go up and then bend that in towards that top line. Now from here, I start building out the hair going up towards the top. Let's start from the side of the ears, go out and then bend that up on both sides. Now from here, bend this down and then in towards the jaw. Let's go underneath the earlobes and angle the neck, coming down and then out towards the side. And then from the bottom of the neck, draw a straight line going across and just extend that out towards the side. Now we're going to move down towards the side of the neck, slope the shoulders going out and then down.
Let's block in the edge of the collar, starting from the shoulders, then it's down and in. And then draw a straight line going across the middle. Now I want to continue working our way up towards the top of the hair. Let's start on the side of the ear, then it's out and up. I'm just going to create a hard angle going up with a straight angled line. And then from the top, bend this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's add two large spikes curving up along the top. We start from this point, then it's out, go up, and then in. And then do the same thing on the right. Now from the top, it's going to bend this down and then in towards the center of the head. Now you want to add a spike in between, curve this out and up, then this down and then in behind. Let's add that one large spike in the center. We're going to start on the left side, go up, bend that in towards the middle, bend this up towards the tip of that spike to right about there. Now from the top, we're just going to bend this across and then down towards the right side. Now we're going to fill in these large gaps with another spike, starting over on the left, bend this up, and just tuck that in along the bottom. Let's add one more in between these two spikes, going up and then down. Now I'm going to layer another spike in front. I'm going to start from here, bend this around, and then in towards the top, bend this down and in towards the center, and then bend that down towards the middle. Let's add one more spike in the middle, starting right here, then this up, take that out, and then down. Now from here, we're going to fold some spikes coming down across the head. I'm going to start from the middle, then this out, across the left eye, and then down to right about there. Angle this up towards the top, bend that across towards the center, and then hook that down on top of the head. Let's add a curl on the side, starting up here, bend this around and down. And I just want to hook that in towards the side of the head, curl this around and then up towards the top. Let's add one small spike along the right side, go up and out, and then bend that back up towards the top, come around the outside and then back in. And add one more curl on the right side. Coming around and then in towards the eye, go all the way around and then back in towards the top. And now that we have our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have a clean rough sketch in place, let's go back and refine our drawing. We'll start with our front bang. Now we can always add a little bit more detail and shape as we go. It's just working our way up and then down towards the hairline. I'm just going to modify the shape of that bang on the top. And as you can see, I'm still in the rough phase. I'm not getting too detailed. Some rough detail inside. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding some detail to the face. Start with the inside edge of the brow.
So adding a little bit more shape to the mouth. Just giving a slight bend. Now we're just working our way down the neck, adding a little bit more detail and some folds. Now I'm going to go back and continue adding some detail to the hair. And once we're happy with all our contours, we'll go back in and darken our lines. Now we're also going to go back and add some of that texture inside the hair. These lines, going from the inside, working our way out, and then from the tips, coming in.
then go ahead and just lightly shade the inside of the pupils. And then with the head, we're just gonna add a shadow line on the left side of the head. So starting underneath the eye, just gonna pull this in, go out towards the jaw, and just taper this down towards the bottom. And just gonna lightly shade this in. Just working our way across, just cross hatching, also shading in the nose. And then adding a light shadow in between the eyes. Just gonna add a light shade to the eyebrows. I'm just gonna continue that shadow line across the neck from left to right. And then shade that in. And we'll add that shadow line across each of these hair spikes. So we'll start with that line first along the bottom. And just lightly shade in the bottom area of the hair. Let's go over towards the right side. And then from here, we're just gonna work our way up. And you see with some of these shadows, I'm just adding a little bit of a point going up and out, and then back in, just to work with the texture of the hair. And we're also going to darken up that shadow just underneath the chin, across the neck. Now I'm going to finish my drawing once I feel my lines and contrast are balanced, and I'll also be sure to sign my artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Super Saiyan Goku. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.